<laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, from Lake Casablanca State Park in La near Laredo, Texas. Actually, it's, I guess, right in the city limits of Laredo, Texas, but it's a cool morning. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Laredo, Texas? In Laredo, it's currently 60 degrees. 60 degrees, and uh, the wind's blowing out of the north right now about 15 miles an hour. I can hear it a little bit. And hey, Google, what's the temperature in Brackettville, Texas? Currently in Brackettville, it's 45 degrees. Uh, a lot warmer here than it is there, about 15 degrees. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Brownsville, Texas? Right now in Brownsville, it's 75 degrees. Uh, that'll drop, though. They got that. The norther just hadn't got there yet. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Capitan, New Mexico? In Capitan, it's currently 27 <laughs> degrees. I hear you. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Fairbanks, Alaska? The temperature in Fairbanks right now <laughs> is minus 13 degrees. I don't know how they do it. Minus 13 with a high of 1. <laughs> Man, you guys can have it. But anyway, moving along here, uh, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. It's day after yesterday, day before tomorrow. It's right now. So if there's, anything, if there's anything you wanted to get done in November, I suggest that you get at it today. Anyway, because tomorrow we got a new month. Never worry about what you cannot change. I'm in a Class C motorhome here at the State Park in, in Laredo. And uh, it is a Wednesday morning, as far as I know. And we'll be leaving in the morning to go to Brownsville to, uh, let's see, it's Tropical Trails Resort. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I really am. And uh, what else we got? Uh, oh, the uh, nooner or the videos today. When, whatever I come up with, they'll be coming. Don't worry about it. Also, for those of you that plan to send me a Christmas card or whatever, uh, hang on to it till I give you the mailing address for me in Brownsville, Texas. Because I, I will have a mailing address at the RV park in Brownsville. And I'm not going to have my mail forwarder, at least I don't plan to. So rather than just have it stack up in Brackettville, let's get it mailed to me in uh, Brownsville. Okay, anyway, having said that, moving along to what? Comments. If I got them up here. Yeah, I do. Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> Rick S. Looks like a nice spot for your stay. Enjoy, Rusty. Yeah, that was on the arriving Laredo. Yeah, God, what a white knuckle drive. Mm, I hate that. But anyway, I, I, I won't come back through here. No, no, once is enough. But I wanted to come to this park because I'd never been here. And they, they've got some construction going on in the park, go down the hill here. And But the lake is pretty. It's a pretty lake. I'll, I'll probably walk, do a walking video if I can this morning. It's not too windy. If not, I'll do a little driving video because I've got my car off the dolly. And uh, yeah. Uh, I didn't unhook the uh, electric or the, the uh, cable from the battery, the negative cable, because I called General Motors Electric Vehicle Division, and the, the first person I talked to said they weren't sure they'd check. Second person I talked to said, well, uh, he could think of no reason to unhook it. He said he just thought that was a carryover in the owner's manual from uh, the uh, other cars. And uh, so he said, but he, he said he'd check further and get back. So anyway, I did not uh, unhook the negative cable and towed it down here 200 miles and no issue. I backed it off the tow dolly and no issues at all. So that's good. And uh, what else? Uh, oh, here we got driver. Let's see, where am, where am I here? What's going on here? Wow, did I hit the thing? Okay, here we go. Comments. Nice place, nice weather. Greetings. Thank you, dear Trixa from the North Sea in Germany. Snowy Bells. Howdy, Rusty. Happy, have a happy, safe travel. Take care always. You too. Uh, Jim, Dogman Chronicles. Check his channel out. Says, thanks for the ride along. Rusty, I was feeling stressed watching the traffic. I don't like big cities and traffic like that either. Yeah, enjoy your stay. You're quite welcome. Enjoy your day. Rick S. Looks like a nice spot for your stay. Enjoy, Rusty. Yeah, it's okay. Driver Dan, he says, I was definitely feeling the stress of, stress of that highway traffic. I was relieved to pull into, oh, I th okay, I probably already read some of these. Anyway, uh, it was a nice spot to drive. It was nice to drive through Laredo and see some of the local places. Yeah, it's okay. 
Uh, it's a big city. I've, I've got to go to the HEB. You know, the wind's really blowing because I can feel the RV doing this. Anyway, uh, Barbara R., AB Roadrunner, says, Rusty loves your commentary along the way. Yeah, the wind's really blowing. must be gusting. Uh, we do the same thing on our videos going through big cities. Yeah, uh, yeah, just, uh, yeah, whatever. Thank you, Barbara. Uh, enjoy your day. KC Blues 2 Sherwood, beginning year 2000. Laredo was the second fastest growing in the city in the U.S. Las Vegas was number one. Nothing scarier than Texas highway driving or any big city driving. I mean, you can say Texas or California or whatever, but just big cities, I guess. Uh, anyway, thank you, KC Blues, Sherwood. Tom Sharp, uh, enjoyed riding along with you. Didn't take too long to get to the campground. Nice lake and park. Have some good hikes. Well, it may have some good hikes, but I'm only going to be here one day, and it's going to be windy today, and the wind's going to be picking up and peaking about 2 or 3 p.m. at about 20 miles an hour, so it really won't be good walking. So I'll probably, uh, I might try to do a walk here in a little bit, but as far as doing a video, I'm afraid I'll have to do a driving video to show you the park or whatever. Wendy McGee, Brownsville has one of the best zoos, and they have good ices. The turtle sanctuary is free. I don't really care to go to zoos because I don't like to see the animals behind bars, you know. Uh, it, I mean, I'm sure it's interesting to millions of people, but uh, I've used to go, I went to, I've been to zoos, but I don't know, there's just something about something that's totally should be free in prison that doesn't impress me, you know. Uh, K-Bob Hope, nice ride along, but that's just me, don't take that personally now. Uh, K-Bob Hope, nice ride along, Rusty, take care, uh, I will. Uh, Brian Barbie, as one mature driver to another, must say I was impressed with your skillful driving of that big rig through the traffic and narrow lanes in Laredo. You still got it. Hope the place in Brownsville is to your liking enough to stay through the month you have paid for. Uh, no, I, 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 I'll pro I'm hoping to stay there for three months. I mean, I, you know, of course, we'll see. Uh, Mr. H., Different from two-lane highways and tumbleweeds. Yeah, it's certainly, it is. It damn sure is. <laughs> but it's good training. It's good practice. Uh, PJH says Laredo, Texas, 266,000 plus. Yeah, I didn't I didn't know that. I didn't realize it was that big. Hey, Google, what's the population of Laredo, Texas? In 2021, the yeah. population of Laredo was 256,153. Yeah, 154 now. But anyway, uh, thank you, uh, Thing. Snowy Bells 12. Howdy, Rusty. You did a good job and got there safe. See you Wednesday morning. Yep, we're here, babe. This is Wednesday morning. Yep, Sue C. Hi, Rusty. Ooh, Dr. Pepper, I knew you were a good man. Have fun, Rusty. Thanks for taking us along. You're very welcome. Yeah, it's fun. John Henry. The arrival here. Arrival here. Glad I was a backseat driver on this trip. I do so hate large cities and like you try to avoid them when I can, and with a lot of planning I usually do these days, unless my smartphone turns dumb and turns my trip into a ride through hell. Yeah, it's crazy, but you know, my handwritten directions, and I even double-checked them, they must have built some new highways is all I got to tell you that aren't on the Texas map, because uh, it, it, it was there were several places I would have screwed up. Scotty Thompson, cool video talk. Thank you, Scotty Thompson, the mass bowler from Wisconsin. Pe Peggy Parker, hello Peggy Parker. Wow, what a ride! What a ride along video that was. I hear you, Rusty, on the big city mix master spaghetti highways. I loathe those with a passion, but you made it in one piece. Looks like a nice campground, safe travels, and we will be watching as always to see the adventures of Rusty. Yeah, yeah, you know, uh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> WTBM one two three. Cool. Yeah, well, it, it it is cool now. Lisa Reynolds on the arriving. First time comment after watching you for almost three years. Thanks for filming dri filming the drive and your spot at Lake Casablanca. I'm eager to see your adventures around Padre Island, a place I've always wanted to go. Freezing and snowy here in Salt Lake. Have fun, Rusty. Sincerely, Lisa. Well, thank you, Lisa, for your comment after three years. <laughs> Patty White says, Damn... What happened to Laredo? Since when did they get flyovers? It has always been a busy city. Day and night, cars never stop. 
same down in the valley. Thank you for this ride along. Hope you have a nice sleep there. Yeah, I slept good last night. No problem. Had to run the air conditioner most of the evening and part of last night until this norther came in and it cooled down pretty quick. But it came in about midnight, a little after. Stuart Billingsley, after seeing your video of all the traffic there in Laredo, I thank God I was not transferred there some 30 years ago uh, while working for the U.S. Customs Service. The traffic was terrible then with all the truck traffic trying to cross the main bridge into Mexico. Uh, it says they had just opened that new port of entry north of Laredo, but the traffic was still terrible. Yeah, that uh, new port of entry, there's actually, a, they've got a highway. It's just a highway for the trucks. No, this is big business here, guys. You know, we, we don't know what our, our government's doing. You know, you, you hear it on TV, but until you actually see what's going on here, you know, the trade with Mexico is billions of dollars, you know, uh, you know, both ways, us sending stuff across and, you know, our, our large corporations building stuff to a certain point and then shipping it across so they don't have to pay a tax. It, it's all business, man. Trisha Connor, great ride along. Thanks, Rusty. Live, Texas. Thank you. Trisha Connor again. Uh, Rusty, you might look into using a Waze for GPS instead of Google. Truckers and bus drivers use it. I like it better. It gives more info. Uh, I'm fine. I don't travel that much where I need it, but that's a good tip. Rip Snorton, uh, Laredo, Texas, just like Victoriaville, Victorville, California. Looks just like Victorville, California. No, I guess. Louis Paparella, not too many years ago, I drove a Class C along the East Coast, including through downtown D.C. Never have claimed to be smart. Kind of obvious, huh? Now, I don't... I don't uh, get a kick out of driving in big cities even in a car norman in san diego great driving commentary with rusty as we get to our get to tour texas and watch for heb stores well that was kind of my my on my map that i hand wrote that was going to be my my cue to get ready to turn left but as it turns out i didn't need it uh ken pa now we know what turns rusty into a negative ned well, it's just a fact, Ned. <laughs> yeah, I don't like traffic. Uh, C. Lynn, uh, no worries about the length of the driving video with us, Rusty, Mr. Rusty. We really enjoy them, enjoy your chatting as well. It's nice to know that I'm not the only one that wonders if the navigator knows what it's doing. And the funny of the day that had us cracking up when you said there's a car following me really close. Oh, wait, that's my tow vehicle. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 that was cute, wasn't it? <laughs> I just threw that in for flavor. Anyway, uh, we'll do several more here. James Ortiz, lots of commerce passing through there. God, I mean, I'm telling you, man. Jose Flores. Oh, Jose, he sent me a dollar ninety nine. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, there's some way to do that. At the bottom of the video, it says something about thanks, and you click on it, and you send money. He does that once a month or so. Thank you, Jose. Enjoy your day, man. Carol McKibben, a really bad drive is through Atlanta, Georgia, especially at rush hour. Oh, because, but pretty much any time of the day, we was really glad to move to the country 20 odd years ago. I don't miss it at all. Let me tell you something. I worked in that area for a couple of months. I, I was in Cummins, Georgia, and had to drive into Atlanta to do some uh, training and pipeline inspection work. No, it's it's got six lanes on each side of the expressway, and and I six five or six. But you get trapped in one of them, you could go around that loop 5,000 times and never get off. No, it's hell, man. Angie says, hi, Rusty. I, Rusty, I enjoyed this video. Trying to figure out my Mini Cooper by by your suggestions. Oh, oh I, I, this is on a video on Prius Campus. So apparently she's going to make a camper out of the, the Mini Cooper. Uh, anyway, thank you, uh, Angie, and good luck if you're going to use your car as a camper. Debbie Weckler, thank heavens we got to ride all the way. We'd be wondering if Rusty got there okay. Good to see Green grass and no snow or ice on the highway. Dang, this calls for a Tuesday beer 30. Thanks, Rusty. Good show. No, there's no, you, you don't, you're not going to get snow or ice down in this part of the country. It's very rarely, very rarely. And Mitt, good job navigating the busy Texas roads. Yeah, we did okay. Me and old, what's her name? Uh, we'll do a few more here. I don't know how fast the internet is, so I'm going to cut it a little shorter this morning. Uh, situated four. It's interesting to see how you actually schedule travel and check in at the parks, etc. The real behind the scenes stuff. 
Yeah, well, you you know, you just pull up to the window and, you know, you, they, you tell them who you are and you're in, you know. So it's pretty quick now with all this internet stuff. King for a day, Rusty, if you spy a poor cowboy wrapped in white linen, yeah, there's a song about that, that wants you to listen to his sad story, you might want to, you might not want to get involved. Yeah, that was a good song. Spied an old cowboy, let's see. I can't do it now. <clears throat> Poodle Professor says, I-35 is a beast. Yeah, no kidding. South or north. Around Austin, it's worst. worse. Worse. Uh, glad you showed the driving. I've been looking to camp at this park since it usually has lots of open sites. I noticed from the map that it's close to the city, and I see here that it's really close. Not bad, though. Not sure why it always has lots of openings. Well, it does during the week, but on the weekends, it it can crowd, it can pack up. And holidays, I don't think you could find a spot. Dale Head, road noise ruined this, ruined the video. Yeah, well, I I mentioned it in the description that there was road noise and for children not to watch. Uh, Jason's Texas Adventures. Yep, living in the city ain't easy, ain't easy traveling. That's why I love the wide open areas so much and look forward to going. To them when I can, yeah. Uh, last one here is Patty Sue Chandler Lindquist. Anybody with four names has got to know something. This is on November the 29th. Says I want to know why the trucks are backed up. Border thing or what? Interesting trip. Glad you're taking us along, Patty Sue in Maryland. Well, thank you, Patty Sue in Maryland. Uh, enjoy your day. Rita Meek says you make it look easy. Nice ride. But anyway, having said that, guys, from Lake Casablanca State Park, Texas. On a Wednesday morning, a cool Wednesday morning, this is Rusty78609 saying, thumbs up, guys. Thumbs up, carpe diem. Carpe diem means seize the day in Latin. Carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, buy anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it doesn't cost you one penny. Just click on the link, go to Amazon, buy whatever you want. Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout kidney stones and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you will not want to eat so much as in snack and the only way to lose weight and keep it off and you know it and i know it eat less that's it and then what else uh take deep breaths breathe in really deep hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly why because that relieves stress and relieving stress does what lowers your blood pressure is that good for you you bet it is do it several times a day I'm not kidding you yeah You'll never regret that. And then what else? Stretch. 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 Swivel. 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 Walk. 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 Pedal. 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 Exercise your body once or twice a day, every single day. Why? Because you'll feel better immediately and you may live longer, healthier because of that one thing. And then what else? Stand guard. The door of your mind. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness. All those little neurons in there are forming neural links, which is every single thought you have. So... Give your neurons something positive to work with. Don't watch the negative news. Accentuate the positive. Eliminate the negative. Enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. At ease. Carry on. Adios. Bye-bye. Until the next video. Uh, yeah. Bye-bye. Hasta luego. Vaya con Dios. Aloha. Until then. Bye. Enjoy your day, guys. Uh, yeah. Enjoy your life. <laughs> bye. On the road again. Soon. <laughs>